We need to work together to create an environment that is insatiably curious, constantly seeking out unique and creative solutions. When we're curious, we see things differently. That's what I believe is going to take in order for us to build long-term public trust. Studies also show that intelligence and curiosity improves learning and helps social relationships. So now in front of this large, wise, media-savvy crowd, I want to share with you some of my commitments to cultivate that curiosity. My first one is to use curiosity to improve myself rather than to prove myself. To not be afraid to say I don't know and to remember it's more important to learn than to look smart. To reframe boring situations. I now really want to make an effort to turn that boring situation into something meaningful and give attention to something I usually miss. The third is to ask questions. Neil deGrasse Tyson said, the people who don't ask questions remain clueless throughout their lives. To ask questions, to stay away from those that be, can be answered by yes or no. I should use the five W's to create openness for the person being asked and for myself. And the fourth is to be present. As my sister says, to disconnect, to connect. Turn off the phone and focus on the conversation. Avoid the temptation to multitask. It's not really as flattering as we make it out to be. The good news is, in that lighting all of this attention on the notion of curiosity, I'm looking at a life, life from a different perspective. One that brings me more answers, but then again, leads me to more questions. One that allows me to participate more fully and to appreciate people's life stories. So the ending is, may I never be cured of my curiosity. It's been a pleasure.